we're looking at this Revo Dock Max 213. It's a very well built dock. It has a micro SD card reader, a, a SD card reader, two A type USB ports on the front, a USB C with power delivery up to 20 watts, and it has a headphone jack input here on the back side. It has two 5 gigabit USB A's. It's got a display port, eight up to 8K. It has three Thunderbolt 4 ports, one coming from the laptop, two going out. It has 2.5 gigahertz ethernet port, and it has the power in, which is a 21 volt. It has a 180 watt power supply. It's designed by Ugreen, very well built housing, it has Allen screws holding it together. It has convoluted steel or rib steel as a heat, uh, heat sink that's on both sides it also has an air gap between the case and the convoluted steel the rib steel and in between that it has a gel pad to transfer heat from the electronic internals to the metal to the air very good at getting rid of the heat it's a 13 in 1 I drive the 5k 49 inch monitor from the display port and I hook my 8k television into this Thunderbolt port and I hook my 1m2 Thunderbolt Ford SSD D drive into this Thunderbolt port. Very nice looking unit. It weighs almost two pounds. I think it's like one and three quarters, just under one and three quarter pounds. And you're gonna put your micro SD card in or your SD card in. It doesn't walk on you. It sits pretty, it sits firm on the desk. Has an LED indicator right up here. It's got feet on the bottom and rubber feet on the side, horizontally or vertically. The power supply is smaller than most because it's a GAN GAN power supply. It's not as large as those huge bricks. It's a win that the power supply is very small, doesn't take up much space, but the cord length is sort of short. So that puts this power unit kind of in the middle of where you really want it to be. It would be better at one end towards the closer to the wall. From the time you get from to your wall from the docking station, that puts this power brick right about halfway, which is kind of awkward when you're going up a desk and this you don't want this to be hanging on its own weight. So the position would have been nicer if it would have been closer to the wall, but it's not a big deal. Connecting everything is really easy. This is my display port cable that goes to the um, monitor. It just goes into the DP8 case port right here. The laptop port right here goes into the first Thunderbolt port. There's a little icon of a, of a laptop. So now that's your outgoing, your incoming outgoing to the laptop. You have your hard drive SSD if you want on these two Thunderbolts or monitor. You can run a monitor out of here also, which at the moment I'm not connecting my 8K television to that. Then you got your hardwired ethernet right there, RJ45. And we got the power connection, which comes in right here. So now you've got your power and we have speakers coming in right here. They go in the front. Would have liked to have seen a port on the back for that. So that goes in the front like that. And then, so my Thunderbolt drive right here is going into one of these ports and we will pick the second one right here so my Thunderbolt is plugged in right there there's my super fast SSD right there Thunderbolt 4 which is the whole point of this Thunderbolt 4 dock is to get some good speeds out of this and then I've got my cables so they just go back here and I will reroute there's the power cable and this Thunderbolt SSD through the bottom there but it sits right right up against there nice and snug so okay so we are connected there I wish the speaker came out of the back but it doesn't so we're going to connect the laptop right here, one single connection. And let's watch that icon right there on the dock when I open the laptop. And let me turn the monitor on. Monitor is powering up. And let me bring this monitor down here where I like it. And it didn't turn on. Let me turn it on. I believe it turned on before automatically, but it didn't this time. So let's see. We are powered up here. So we are running everything through that one cable to the laptop. One Thunderbolt 4 right here. This is my main monitor now. All running off of one cable. Everything looks good. Got my drive right here showing my uh, 4 terabyte Evo SSD. We're going to do a speed test with the monitor off going through the Revo dock. And we got to pull up the speed test. We are going to select our disk, disk, select the target drive. We're going to pick the Evo SSD. 
and we'll pick the Revo file and we will open it. So we're going to do a speed test through the Evo SSD. This is going through the Revo Doc Max 213. And here we go. This is with the, the 49 inch monitor off. And we got 27.99 and 28.43. Let it run for a little bit. Twenty-seven ninety, twenty-eight forty-five. So pretty much the same. So now we're going to turn the monitor on. Now I'm going to turn it on right now. So now we're running seventeen forty-four and twenty-eight twelve. So the right changes. It drops a little bit. And the read stays pretty much the same when you're running the monitor. So if you're running things through your Thunderbolt ports, you're giving up bandwidth for one thing, for another thing. It's still super fast. And it, I think on an 18 gigabit file, instead of six seconds, it added like three more seconds to it. And it looks nice and neat down there. I am liking it. The micro SD card is very handy. Just put it right in the drive there and it sits on the desk. Nice. And when you go to the micro SD card, did I call that other one a micro SD card? So here's your micro SD card. It's got the spring loaded, which I like. So now you've got your two drives in here and you can access your photos or your videos, whatever you need to access. Nice clean desktop. One cable to the laptop. One set up there and we have the nice 49 inch OLED 144 Hertz gaming monitor right there. Very nice unit from Ugreen. I like the price. When this came out eight to 10 months ago, it was running $399, a high of almost $400. Uh, the reviews from PC Magazine and the like said that it was a very good unit, but that it was overpriced. But now the price is down because the fives are coming out, the Thunderbolt fives. Now, if you don't want to spend all that money for a Thunderbolt five, you can pick up a Thunderbolt four like this for $224 on Amazon right now. And I'm not trying to sell it to you, but I bought it because I think it's a good buy and it does what I need it sets my laptop up to run just off of one cable one cable in and then all the ports I need on the back it's so nice to have all those ports I do pick up some speed using hardwired gigabit ethernet versus Wi-Fi not a lot but some it's a it's an increase yeah.